Hey guys, it's Kugligam with another video and uh, this time I've got an app review for you guys and this is called the IOBit App Lock for Android. So let's get started. So guys, now Iobit actually contacted me regarding this application. So this is going to be a little bit of a sponsored uh, video. All opinions are my own, but I really do like this application. That is really amazing. It's actually one of the best applications for app lock I have used in recent times. So let's get started on it now. This is app lock. You can see I have selected the pin and uh, fingerprint scanner uh, mode. So fingerprint does work out really well. I really do appreciate that. Now let's get into what this app lock is. What an app lock is. What is it? It's an app to lock your applications. It locks it out of anyone third party, which is not you or anyone who does not have your pin or your fingerprints. It just locks it out from other people from accessing that application or that service. Pretty simple, right? Now, this can be done in a lot of ways. This can be done by integrating with the application itself. I mean, a lot of applications like call recorders have their own app mechanism for locking. Now, it can also be done with a third party application like how AppLock is doing. It marries with the application and whenever that application is launched, it this application, which is the AppLock, uh, provides a a screen in front of it so that you cannot see it but it requires a pin or your fingerprint to get that screen away from on top of your screen so you can access the application beneath it that is how this one does it i think for an application like this there are three ways or three criteria which it needs to fulfill first of all is to protect the privacy that is basically what this does and every app lock does do it very very interestingly and that does do it very efficiently now the second criteria is how non-intrusive this is going to be it depends on the type of application does it use fingerprint does it use uh, pin lock does it use uh, face unlock like this one uses does it look pattern now that also depends on the person from there we go to the third criteria which i think is important which is stealth now there are a lot of people who do not want to just show that uh, they have their applications locked well maybe for their own reasons i personally do not have any issue with that well and this application also has that feature baked into it so that is really really cool let's get started with the application what is it let's go through an overview you do have iobit app lock this is the front page screen so you do have locked applications so i have locked all of these applications which is my whatsapp instagram and quick pick which is my gallery that has been locked and there is also option for face scanner, uh, which you can use, which I will get into later. Also, there is a notification lock if you want to use that. I mean, uh, any notification from these applications will be locked and uh, it will only show just a message has been received. It will not show what the message is. Now, it does have a recommended to lock option, which is pretty nice. Most of the applications which this uh, app can understand, it will also show uh, why you should lock it. So that's something there. So you can see in the all installer system application, you can see Uber. It shows that you should lock it to prevent stealing money. And uh, in Messenger, it shows prevent viewing chat logs, Hangout also. Flipkart, free charge, all of that. It gives you a summary on why you should be having that locked. So that's pretty cool. If you want to lock something, you can go for like setting. You go, you can just click it. It's locked now. And uh, if you go to settings in any way, you will be asked for a password. Now this is a screen which is available, which I'll be getting into later. So it'll ask for uh, the password and you can click that. That does work out really well. Let's go to the settings which is available in this app lock function. So first of all, you do have fake lock. Now this is the one which I used, uh, which is called full stop. So in this one, it will show you guys that unfortunately the app you are trying to install or open has stopped. So if you click OK, let's just show you guys. Uh, here's Instagram, which I have locked. If I click OK, it will just close it normal, right? If you have this and you triple tap it, it will show you the pin code and uh, you can use your fingerprint and in, uh, access that. So that is how stuff works. I really like that. But honestly, that just gives me a extra barrier to get through rather than it, it, it kind of becomes an inconvenience in my opinion. 
I probably won't be using that. I'll just keep the fake lock to something like, uh, I mean, I'll just not enable fake lock. You can also have all of these. These two features are available with pro version, which is fingerprint cover. It also shows voice authentication does not work. It's just a fake lock and crack screen is also there, which uh, it's it's out of fad for some time now. I'm not really sure it also has a call cover and whenever you open an application with lock It will just show uh, an incoming call from unknown number There is also a picture cover which by which you can select an, a picture and show that I personally just I'm going to disable it because I just feel it's it just it adds another Barrier which I'm not looking forward for so uh, like okay quick pick it's showing me I'm just gonna use fingerprint and that works that is pretty cool and I like it. Now, there is also notification lock. You can also lock notification. You do need to enable notification access for that. You can enable notification lock, uh, enable this one. It, will it should work correctly. So you can actually block the notification in here and that should work out pretty good. I mean, this pr pretty much self-explanatory. You can have that. I don't mind on doing that. I just want to lock my gallery, uh, WhatsApp, maybe Gmail is what I really want to lock. And uh, yeah, that should work out pretty well. It also has face lock, which in my opinion is kind of a dud because face lock was there on the Android scene from way back in the day. I used to use that on my S3. That didn't really work very well. I didn't really appreciate that. I don't really use it very well. It has a live check uh, kind of a thing in which you have to tilt your face to have it recognized. So that's what you have to do to get the face unlock to register correctly. Again, setting it up and using it with a uh, live display or liveness detector is kind of a uh, fad. I'm not really a huge fan of it. I think uh, just using fingerprint is good enough for most people and you will be able to fool it with a photograph or a, a large enough photograph and doing something with it. I don't really like it. It's just that. Now it does have delay lock also. I mean, uh, you can, uh, if you're really paranoid, you can select it for every time in which every time you launch the application and you go out of the application, it will show this one. So I I'm exit the application again, it will show this one. If you're not that much of a paranoid freak, you can go for something which is a little bit more mellow. You can have three minute timeout for that. So the lock will not engage unless three minutes have passed. Also, you have after screen goes dark. So if you want to hand over your phone to someone, you can just press the power button and just make the phone sleep and then uh, enable it again. So that will work very well. I really do like that. It also has a custom settings where you can select a time interval for the uh, this one up to 60 minutes. So you do have that. I personally am using the uh, after screen goes dark option so that uh, whenever I, uh, I have this one, so now it shows it will be locked after screen does goes off so I can go uh, back to this application and just use it correctly but if I lock my phone and then go back it will ask for a pin so yeah that's how it is and uh, that is what I find uh, very useful it also has themes uh, of course it does have themes so you can customize any of these themes from there the normal one just has basic one you can also have a custom one from the plus sign now some of these are pro functions also like this one which is the moon style thing uh, it is pro only I do have pro install right now which was given to me by uh, iobit so that's pretty cool uh, you do have this icon which shows pro for those themes which uh, you need a full license for now comes the security center now what security center is it will give you guys a little bit more protection from a little bit more tech savvy people so you can change the icon of iobit locker to anything else you can have a weather you can have alarm clock calculator and uh, you can just replace it so uh, right now it has just replaced it so you can see there is a calculator here which is basically iobit it doesn't do anything much it doesn't do a lot of other things it, it just replaces the icon it doesn't give me give you a calculator actual calculator or anything like that so yeah that's not a huge deal for people who are more tech savvy uh, avoid being uninstalled you had you can enable that as an a administrator option so that should work out really well i will recommend this one and that should work out very well i really do hope you enable this option so that it won't be uninstalled by a third party now there is also an option called intruders photograph so whenever someone tries to uh, access your application and uh, punches in a wrong pin code it will shoot a photograph with your front camera and it will store here or you can have it mailed 
to your email address and that should work out very well so yeah there is also option for pin or pattern selector i have selected pin because that's something which i really like you can have that make pin invisible if you all want that and random keyboard which is scramble layout which is also available you can also change the password which is pretty cool so you can see this pin is now scrambled and you can have that it works okay i i don't really mind that so that is the stuff which you get with the features now i there's also a setting menu in which you do have a few options where you can enable fingerprint lock if you have a phone with fingerprint uh you will have to enable that it's better to enable that bit than just having a pin now one thing which i do want to notify is that uh on my device the fingerprint scanner is basically married to the uh, home button so there have been situations where the home button would activate rather than using the fingerprint scanner so whenever I'm uh, like launching an application I will punch in this one I'll punch uh, on the uh, home button but it won't recognize my fingerprint rather it will trigger home button so what happens is it will go straight to my home screen and uh, fingerprint will be failed so that also has happened for phones with with doesn't have a fingerprint on the front which has it on the back that'll be pretty cool you don't have to worry about anything on that regard so that is it in the features section i hope i have co covered everything in that something which i want to talk about in this one is that uh, well it does have fingerprint scanner it does have pattern it does have face unlock and uh, as i've already said this only gives a uh, whenever you are going to access an application with lock it only gives you like one screen in front of you uh, and the person uh, in in front of the application and in the uh, between the person there so it's not going to thwart oceans 11 or something uh, similar so that's going to be a thing uh, you will have to be careful with that now let's talk about the issues which i have received or i have faced with this application now every application is a working progress and i did find a few issues with this one now initially when i was using the uh, application i did find that uh, sometimes when i was using instagram and i was scrolling through it uh this screen p keeps on popping up even after unlocking it and i haven't uh, gone out of the application i was just scrolling through it this kept on coming up but after the update recently that seems to have been corrected but i just uh, thought you might want to know about it also as uh, you can see probably here it, it just showed me my feed it showed me my feed again and the fingerprints uh, the pin screen just came up so there is a considerable lag between it so in application uh, like whatsapp uh, it just showed me all my log if if i am quick enough i can discern if someone has given me a call if someone has given me a message and uh, that kind of is a problem and uh, that's only a problem with lag it can be corrected with software so i am hoping for them to correct it cor uh, as soon as possible also another thing which i've noticed is that the pin is only four digit long i am one of those person who uses a six digit pin on my phone on my atm card on everything i have i don't feel secure with just four pin this one only has four i'm not really sure why that would be a limitation uh, it shouldn't be but well of course i'm not using the pin a lot but still it should be a six digit pin it should be able to accept any number of digit pin so yeah i hope that will be corrected also so i think that should be it about this application then who is this for that is a question which i would like to uh, give you guys a little bit of insight into now this is not going to be the best if you want to hide that hide the fact that you are hiding something that won't work correctly because it's okay it shows calculator if someone is uh good enough to know that there are two calculators if they are going to open this up it's not a calculator it's a pin app lock it just shows you iobit app lock i really like the concept of that in audio manager which was older version of uh, file locker uh, which i guess all everyone and their mother knew about so yeah that also defeated its purpose so it's not about stealth it is convenient it is not intrusive it is convenient and i really do like that and that is why i am going to use this for myself uh in the forward so i really like that for uh, the convenience of it and it does have fingerprint it has a pin not all applications do accept pin they only have a pattern which i think is 
uh, kind of sad and uh, yeah I think that should be it about the application I know this is a longer video because I want to talk about everything which is in here so hopefully you like the video please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful a huge thanks to iobit for giving me a chance to talk about this application I really appreciate that and I hope to see you guys next time bye